Alexa personal assistant to the test here. What's the latest with Donald Trump? In a series of controversial tweets posted early on Friday, Donald Trump criticized former Miss Universe, Alicia Machado, asking if Hillary Clinton helped the woman become a U.S. citizen so that she could be used in the debate. Hmm. Angry tweets. Heading down to Wilsonville this morning. I'm stopping at Starbucks. I have to go inside this one, though, because they always screw up the order. And I'm getting two drinks, so I want to make sure that they're both correct. <laughs> I like this van, but it's got some issues coming apart a little bit. If you look closely, you can see the gaps here, and inside here, the sheet metal is cracking. Something about being 30 years old and having a body lift. I'm going to drive it today anyways, I'm not going very far. So yeah, we'll roll in this one. Well, they managed to do it properly. I had to explain it a few times. See, the problem is, I like uh, cold brew coffee and I like it really strong. But also, heavy cream, because for me, the heavy cream is kind of an appetite suppressant. So it's hard to convey the amount that I like. I'll say like, extra heavy cream or extra extra heavy cream, or something like, give me all the heavy cream that you have, which doesn't always necessarily work. So I found I can kill two birds with one stone. I can get it really strong by saying, we want to substitute the water for heavy cream. Because normally they do about a third of the coffee, they dilute it with water. So instead of doing that, just do a third of it as heavy cream, which is perfect, right? Well, turns out there's a computer glitch. When they ring that in, it prints out differently on the little tag. So they have to either put this ask me on there, or they have to actually talk to the person that's making the drink. Either way, drive through always results in it getting screwy. Not their fault. But once again, another example of computers causing more problems than they're solving. Well, actually, it's not the computers, it's how they're programmed. Okay, so it's still someone's fault. I blame people. Computers are fine, they do what they're told. Open ways. It's loud and it's old. What more could you want from a van? Got a tire that's a little bit low. Better fill that up. Tire's been filled up. We're good to go. The way this thing sounds is why I like it more than anything. After driving my van slash storage unit out here to the gym, I've discovered that yes, it is in fact dangerous to drive. The front end of this thing is all over the road. You can tell that the substructure of the body is failing. Obviously you can see the cracks. So I'm gonna drive this back and continue keeping it parked and just keep filling it with junk and extra wheelchairs and things. Yeah. There is one small issue. I set the new Alexa portable Bluetooth thing back there somewhere and it fell off. So I don't know if it's under my chair or back there on the floor or what. So I guess this is where the insurance that I paid for comes in in case I run it over. Oh wait, nope, there it is. I see it on the floor. It's totally right there. We're good. The trip to Wilsonville was successful. Um, got my chair programmed up. I got one of these new um, 
LCD color screens. Well, it's not new. It was on another chair that I had. And a friend down here in Wilsonville had a little programmer or programmer key or whatever. He had the software basically on the computer to get this thing working properly. So I did that. And of course, what trip to Wilsonville isn't complete without stopping at Fry's Electronics. And I got myself a super long iPhone charging cable. Two of them, actually. And yeah. So now we're off to Sonic. Time for a foot-long chili dog. Okay. Storage unit yesterday and figured I would rummage around to find one of the spinner knobs for this van since I've been driving it without one for a while and it's kind of difficult. Went to the storage unit and I thought it was in a bucket that I could kind of get to. Well, turns out it was clear in the back. Heard that red van's not going to be driven for a while, so I just pulled the tri pin off of that one. And we finally got it installed on here now. Makes driving so much easier. Just put your hand in here and spin around. Pops right off if you need it to. There it is. Nice to have that back finally. Went over to Oil Can Henry's to get the oil change in this thing. And they have the pit, you know, that the guys can work underneath your car. Well, the one I went to, there's little risers around the pit to keep people from driving into it. And they were too tall for this van because it has really low ground clearance. So they sent me to another location and I went there, changed the oil, no problem, fit in there. And I had them change the belt. And it took three of their guys an entire hour. <laughs> to change the belt on this thing. Um, I guess it's a lot of work, so he gave me 20 bucks off of that. So, I don't know, a giant serpentine belt replacement for 65 bucks, that seems good to me. I feel like the belt probably would have cost that much, but anyways, it's about seven o'clock now. I'm gonna head over to the gym and uh, I think the swim team should be done by now. Get some laps in. Yay. It's time to check in with the Street View map. I took a ton of photos yesterday. So let's see what we got here. Profile. Ah, look at that. 55 photos, almost a thousand views. So now for the moment of truth, let's see if I'm allowed to be available for hire. not sure what that means. I've got 55 photos and I get that message. Are they not approved? Because they show up on the map. Meh. Oh well. Guess I'll keep taking more. <laughs> 